Uh, so in this tutorial what we'll do is we'll look at how we can run console applications within ASP.NET MVC. So let's take an example. So, so we have a program here called OpenSSL and when we run it, it provides an output. So what we want to do is on the server we want to be able to run that program and then glean off the, uh, the output and then show that within our program. Okay, so the basic code that we have, uh, the main elements of it is to build up the arguments that we're going to use for the program. We define where it's going to be run from. So in this case we will define our path and we'll put it into the set subfolder on the server and there's the program there. So we start the program with the arguments that we have um, from the place that we started and then wait for exit. We'll, we'll wait for the program to finish before it takes the output. Then we take that output and we read the full thing into a string at the end and we can display that. So let's have a look at the actual program itself. Okay, and you'll find this example in terms of password. Here it is. Okay, so what's actually happening here is that we're calling up this program on the server and it will return back the value here. Okay, so that shows you the the output. Uh, we can change the arguments that are going into the program using a radio button. And so on. Okay, so let's create this an MVC.net in ASP.net MVC. So this is the basic uh, CST, CSHTML. Uh, we have the password as a text box, there's salt, and then we have our basic radio buttons to be able to give us our results. And then this is with inside the encryption controller. So we go to our controller, and this is what we get. Okay, so let's find our main action that's under open it's under this one here okay so this is what gets called up when we initially uh, load the page we can see here we can pass in some arguments to it and then split them up but this will be the default here and then the HTTP post is called up so what we've done is we've picked off the main arguments here the encryption is the uh, is one of the arguments that's sent that's password salt and that's another one whether we apply salt or not so if we look at our code again so we're calling up this method here okay so here's our code there's a program that we're running on the server picks up the arguments runs a process and so on so the first thing that we've got to do is to actually create a folder that will be created on the server and this one is going to be called cert so we'll go to cert and what we'll have to do is we'll have to add in the programs into all associated DLLs so we'll get them from here so we need the program which is this one and the two DLLs we need are there too so it's this one and this one Okay, these are 132 DLLs, so we don't add them with inside.NET. 
Okay, so what's going to happen is that when we upload that onto the server, it'll run that program and then it'll put that into that folder. And so that when we run it, uh, we won't be able to get the output. So let's run this just in debug to see if it works. When we're running it on the local machine, we'll actually see a console window coming up. But when we're running it on the server, we won't actually see anything. Okay, the server map tilde is the home directory of the server. Cert is the subdirectory and open SSL.exe is the executable that it will actually run. Just takes a minute to start up. Here we go. Now we we'll take an example. There we go. Okay, so you could see the the console window flashed up there, uh, and it's obviously taken the output from that. When we're on the server, we don't actually see that flash happen. You can see it's very, very quick in its output. Okay, so that's shown an example of how we can use a console within inside MVC ASP.NET.